Hi guys, welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. We're continuing on with Old Fashioned Week, and I told you guys that I was going to try out a bunch of different products. So today we're trying out Proof Syrups, and uh, these are Old Fashioned Cocktail Syrups, and I have three different versions that we're going to try today. I have Orange, Maple Bacon, and Traditional. Now, they have a bunch of others available. Um, they have pumpkin spice, they have pecan, they have, I think pecan. I know they have walnut. Anyway, they've got a bunch. And these are the three that I smelled um, at the liquor store that I was interested in enough to want to make this video. So we're going to try these three and see how they go, see if they're legit, see if they're eh, a gimmick. We'll see. Now, what they have in them is they've got your flavor for these flavored ones, and they've got the sugar, they've got the, um, the bitters, that's all done for you. So, the only thing you need is alcohol, cherries, orange peel, ice. So, we're going to make three cocktails and taste them and see what we think. So I'm using Old Granddad 114 for all three, and I've got them all measured out in my little beaker cups here, so we get the exact amounts. Same with the, uh, the proof. So their instructions are two ounces of your alcohol, half ounce of proof. So we're gonna put those together in the glass, stir them, then add our garnish and our ice, and taste them and see what we think. So, alcohol first. I always wanted to be a bartender, here I go. <laughs> Proof syrup, so this one is orange. This one is the maple bacon. And that, this one, the maple bacon one, smelled unbelievable at the liquor store. And then traditional. So, we're going to steer that. And uh, in honor of seeing Luke Skywalker again recently in the Book of Boba, I'm going to use my green lightsaber. I would use... Normally, I'd use my red lightsaber, but the batteries are kind of dying in it, and so I gotta use, I gotta, I gotta be Luke for a minute. I'm Darth Vader. I'm more of a Darth Vader, dark side kind of, kind of guy. It's more fascinating to me than Jedi. Jedi are boring. I said it. Whatever. So, let's leave that on. That looks cool. So now we're stirred. We're gonna go, let's do ice next. And we're gonna do some nice rock ice. And we're gonna do two little QB cubies each. Alright, now let's drop in our orange peels and let's get us some cherries. With the size of these, I'm only gonna do one cherry in each. And this, in case some of you are wondering what the, what the heck kind of cherries I have, these are Luxardo cherries, but this glass jar is a glass cherry jar from the 1960s. And I refill it with a fresh jar of Luxardo's whenever it gets low. So I just love the way it looks. So here we go. We've got, we're going to do a traditional first. It looks nice. Looks like a beautiful, well-made cocktail. It's really swirly. You can see all of the ooh, syrups and everything just oozing around inside the glass. Beautiful. Smells like an old-fashioned. That's actually pretty damn good. That makes a pretty solid standard old fashioned. I would probably go just a little bit less um, proof syrup for two ounces of alcohol instead of 
half an ounce, I'd probably go, instead of 15 mLs, I'd probably go 10. It actually has a really nice flavor. It's just a touch too sweet. Okay, so play with the, play with your amounts. That's fine. That doesn't bother me at all. Next, we're going to go orange. This one smells a lot more orange. Man, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. Look at that swirly, twirly gumdrops in there. Dang. That's nice. That's really nice. The citrus, um, not bitterness, but the citrus zing kind of kills the, the sweetness a little bit. So, so this one's not bad at the prescribed proportions. I might still step this down to 10 mLs and test it and see if I like it better at 10 mLs. That's solid. That's solid. But if I was to choose between those two right this minute, I would probably go traditional. Traditional is just hitting home as an old fashioned. This is coming off more like a flavored, obviously it's a flavored cocktail, but it's coming off more like a flavored cocktail than an old fashioned. Let's go bacon and maple. Now this is the one that smelled outrageous at the liquor store, so let's see. You can smell the bacon, that's weird. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's dangerous. I could get myself in trouble with the maple bacon. Woo, mmm. It's savory and sweet. That's, I think that's what's doing it for me. This is sweet and citrus. This is sweet and sweet. This is savory and sweet and, and a hint salty. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Yeah, that, ooh. ooh. Man, for, I just got hit with a little wave of oak. That was weird. That the maple bacon is my favorite. Um, my second favorite is the traditional. So I think that these are worth having. I mean, it, the the benefit to these over say the craft camp cocktails. These you can make drinks right now. You can make them immediately. If there's no wait, you're not waiting for dehydrated fruit and and everything to rehydrate for three days. The camps are the camp is nice if you are able to plan ahead. So I wouldn't mind having that on hand. The price point's a hair high on the camp. So there's that. But you're you've got everything put together for you. You don't have to cut anything up. You don't have to clean anything. Um, these are really nice as well. To at the very least, be able to do some of the cool flavors. To, you know, like when you have friends over and you're going to like, hey, let's try some weird old fashions. But being able to make an old fashioned this fast with this little amount of ingredients is nice. I mean, there is something to be said for the tradition and the, the ritual of making an old fashioned completely dashing the bitters and, and you know, and doing this, your syrups and everything. There is something to be said for that. But if you want to make a drink quick and and not have to worry about if you've got you know the right kind of bitters or not proof is definitely an option the maple bacon i will be keeping a jar of maple bacon on hand permanently because that is ridiculously good mm. thanks for watching guys until next time i hope you have a great day